Hi, Danielle. How are you? Hi, Michelle. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm great. I'd love to learn more about your practice. Can you give me an overview of what you do? Yeah. Um, I'm a licensed clinical social worker. I'm currently offering teletherapy video sessions throughout the duration of the pandemic. I'm someone who is really fascinated and inspired by the human mind and heart and our capacity to grow and bounce back from painful experiences. I love helping people understand themselves better, love themselves more, and connect to their own immense power to take charge of their lives. That's excellent. And what are some of the specialties in your practice? I meet with a lot of teens and young people who are figuring out who they want to be and how they want to live. Most of the people I work with experience some form of trauma. So they might have experienced abuse or sexual assault. They might have had a traumatic loss. Or they might be dealing with the ongoing trauma of racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia, and other isms. In my work with couples, we spend a lot of time understanding how our own survival strategies from those experiences can trigger our partners. And so how to practice healthy boundaries and communication. That's great. And how would you describe your therapy approach? I've done several in-depth trainings and different approaches to understand them better. And at the same time, I really like to be fluid and respond to what's working for you. I love to learn, so I'm always looking for those common threads between techniques. I'm always looking for what is the core of what really works. Um, but what I've really found is that therapy is most successful when the client and the therapist are really connected. And you as the client, you feel seen, you feel heard, you feel important, and you feel safe enough to be vulnerable. So that's where the work happens. Wonderful. And Danielle, do you have a message for clients seeking therapy at this time? When I work with you, I'm going to want to know what inspires you, what moves you, and what holds you back, what makes you feel stuck or feel bad about yourself. I'm going to want to understand the different parts of you that might pull you in these different directions. Maybe you've been trying to take a positive step for yourself and make healthy choices, but there's a part of you that feels so afraid of the pain of failure that it's really hard to get motivated and follow through. Maybe you've been stuck in this cycle of the same fights, the same patterns with your partner, who you love, but when you try to help them, sometimes they feel a little bit criticized. So I wanna help you with my approach to catch yourself in these moments of feeling stuck so that we can reveal what's going on underneath together and you can connect with your own inherent ability to heal yourself and your relationships I believe every part of us, even the parts we don't always like, are always trying to help us in some way. They just need some help to do it effectively. If you're interested in starting that process with me, get in touch. Thank you so much, Danielle.